Hey guys, welcome to Kid Venture Ketchup. We are so glad you're here. Today we're going to be playing an appearing game. Miss Melody, why don't you tell us the rules for this appearing game? Okay, so in just a second, we're going to give you five seconds to look at everything on the table. You need to memorize what's on this table. Then we're going to add something to it, and we want to see if you can figure out what we added. All right, so take five seconds and look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I hope you all got a good look at what's on the table because now we're gonna add something. All right, can you figure out what we added? Hmm. Try and guess it out if you have found it. Truck? No, it's not the truck. Dinosaur? Not that dinosaur, nope. Hmm. But if you guessed this dinosaur, then you were right. Good, good job. job. All right, now this time you only have three seconds to look at the table. See what all's there. Three, two, one. All right, let's see if you can guess what we added, what appeared. If you guessed the tambourine, it's all right. What about the fork? It's not right either. The fork was there the whole time. But if you guessed the school bus, you were correct. Good, Good job. job. You were very observant. All right, one more time. Look at the table. Quickly, one second. Ready? One. All right, let's see if you found it this time. This one might be a little bit harder. Let's see what we added. Mm, what okay. appeared? If you guessed the banana, it's not right. It's not the banana. If you guessed the sheep, no, nope, the sheep has been here the whole time. Do you know what it is? It's the marker. The marker appeared. That appeared. one was a little trickier. Very good. Well, you had to be very observant to find out what appeared each time. Now, in today's Bible story, we're going to be looking at the disciples who were in a room, and all of a sudden, someone appeared and was with them. Do you know who that person was? Well, let's look and find out. On the first day of the week, in the evening, the disciples gathered together in a house. They locked the doors because they were afraid of the Jews. They didn't want to be killed like Jesus had been killed. But wait, Jesus had appeared to two disciples on the road and Mary Magdalene had reported seeing him alive too. Could it be true? As the disciples talked, Jesus came, stood among them, and said to them, Peace to you. The disciples were afraid. They couldn't believe their eyes. Was this really Jesus? The disciples thought they were seeing a ghost. Why are you afraid? It's me. Why do you doubt? Jesus said. Look at me and touch me. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, but I do. I'm not a ghost. Jesus showed his disciples his hands and his side. They saw the holes in his hands and in his side, Jesus was alive. It seemed too good to be true. The disciples rejoiced because they were so happy to see Jesus. The disciples gave Jesus some fish to eat. Jesus talked to them and explained the Bible to them. The Bible is about me, Jesus said. He helped them understand how the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms told about him. Then Jesus told the disciples that they had a job to do. Jesus had died and was raised from the dead so that people could be forgiven for their sins. The disciples needed to tell other people to repent from their sin and be forgiven. Peace to you, Jesus said to them again. God sent me to earth, and in the same way, I am sending you. Jesus sent out the disciples to be his witnesses and to tell all the people that he is alive. For 40 days, Jesus presented himself to at least 500 people and proved that he is alive. Jesus is still alive today. 
He sends out believers to tell others about him and gives us power through the Holy Spirit. Hey guys! So in today's story we learned that Jesus appeared to his disciples while they were in a room. Isn't that so crazy? Jesus came to his friends and told them that they had a very special job to do. And then he showed them the wounds that were in his hands and his feet to prove that it was really him. God made Jesus alive again, just like he said he would. Wow, that is so cool. Hey guys, we have a great idea for you. So Jesus wanted his followers to tell others about him and to turn from their sins. So we had a great idea that maybe you would like to do at home also. Miss Brianna and I are working on our water coloring and I'm working on the front of mine. But on the inside, we wrote, join me for church online. And I wrote Sunday at nine because that's what time I watch church. Love Miss Melody, missionhillchurch.com. Maybe you can take time and make a card for a friend that you could send it to. And you could put on there whatever time you watch the service and maybe even how you watch the service. If you watch it on YouTube or if you watch it on Facebook or if you watch it through the website. And then you could put the card in the mail and mail it to a friend so that they could join you on Sunday. Well, that's it for today, guys. We will see you again next time. Bye. Bye.